ready. <clears throat> Oops. All right. So today we are going to be, uh, this is my first podcast ever, and today we are going to be talking to Gregory, uh, I'm sorry, Gregory Nicholas. Mm -hmm. I can almost talk today. <laughs> so um, Greg, let's talk a little bit about uh, how we've known each other, what, 15 years now? Oh, very much so, yeah. Okay. Um, what would you say um, would be your areas of specialties? Talk to the audience a little bit. Let's give them a little bit of information about what it is that you do. Uh, with some of the work that you've done over the years. Okay, very good. I am actually fourth generation psychic medium. Uh, we do trace that all the way back to my great grandmother who came over from Italy around the Naples area in 1919-ish. Uh, the gift was with her, then to her, my grandmother, my mother and me. It does end with me, by, my wife and I do not have children, so uh, it does end with me. But it has, I was nurtured over my life with that since I started seeing things at, at the age of four. Uh, <clears throat> and in my house, it was encouraged, but to keep things at home and to talk to my mother and father and her sister since from the mother's line. So it's just, and to be creative and be open to new things to respect the gift and know where it mm -hmm. came from. Uh, and then encourage also the artistic avenue of things to help you uh, become more in tune with the gift and what it is uh, that will help you just continually grow because we're always growing when we're doing this sort of business. So that's what we're going to talk a little bit about today is the uh, creative um, versus, you know, that spiritual side. Mm -hmm. um, I know so many artists, writers, um, narrators, individuals that do creative things. And one thing that I've noticed is it's almost a form of meditation for mm -hmm. those individuals. So um, you had a past of doing some amazingly cool creative things. You um, had done some acting for a time. Right. You're an artist. Um, your mm -hmm. wife is an artist. Um, so talk a little bit about how that um, has affected your abilities with the, um, you know, the spiritual part of it. You know, does it help? Does it hinder? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Anything to do creative, and again, it was encouraged from when I was a young age, helps mm -hmm. you to get in touch with spirit. For me, anything creative is along the lines of a meditative process, whether it be the art, uh, doing creative things, or even uh, the painting, as you have mentioned. That mm -hmm. helps me get more in tune with the creative side. As mm -hmm. you mentioned uh, a while ago, I did acting and modeling, and that mm -hmm. does help with the self-confidence when you're doing okay. this sort of work as well. Uh, mm -hmm. But very good. But anyone who can get into the music side of things, the art, it really helps you get in tune with the spiritual higher self. Mm -hmm. to help with the gifts. So it's very, very uh, uh, helpful. And I'm encouraging anyone to do that. So for you personally, would you say that um, it's more like therapy, I guess, in a way? Oh, absolutely. And ongoing. That doesn't ongoing. just end uh, with years ago. Uh, but it's also uh, right now, uh, uh, it's ongoing, such as even the gardening. Mm -hmm. getting outside, getting, right. uh, and we've all heard that getting your feet in the ground, gardening, whatever, even mowing the lawn is mm -hmm. to me, therapeutic and helps maintain the spiritual well, level. I, I think that's a good point because there's a lot of uh, spiritual practitioners that believe, you know, putting your hands in the dirt, getting t in touch with, literally getting in touch with mother nature, not mm -hmm. just, you know, something you say, um, you know, with, a lot of people like myself, I do a lot of writing. Um, you know, sometimes you can almost feel as though if you don't get a story out or if you don't do something creative, you can actually become stagnant. Now, have you ever had a moment when you've been so busy doing the work that you do that you felt like you needed to take a break and do something creative just simply because you felt like you needed that? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you've touched on a point uh, earlier about the writing. Whenever mm -hmm. I'm doing my work, I uh, have tended to write almost like an automatic writing because okay. for those few seconds when I'm with a client and write, that's almost the therapy. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, taking a step back, that's needed. You have to. Uh, for me, it is some sort of a semi-meditation when I am driving from one location to another. Uh, mm -hmm. To me, that's my downtime to meditate. But you absolutely okay. have to, to get in touch. Uh, even at night, meditating before you go to sleep. It really mm -hmm. helps, such as I ask, what do I need to know? Come to me in my dreams. And many times that helps with maybe not the next day uh, clients, but a few days later. 
Now, I had a, a question on Facebook a couple of weeks ago when I mentioned that I would be doing this podcast. Um, Michael from the Terra Taras mm -hmm. podcast, uh, he actually posed the question about manifestation. So mm -hmm. do you feel that with the art side, you're helping yourself manifest, you know, you know how people have vision boards and Correct. things like that. Do you feel that being creative helps you manifest your desires or your dreams or your goals? Yeah, and that's an excellent point. It absolutely, manifestation does. For me, a lot of it has to do uh, when I'm maybe just doodling or writing, okay. uh, things come out. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, drawing uh, the manifestation, whether it's from the client standpoint or uh, draw things that may help you with the spiritual or the creative side. I okay. find that helping. So for me, I agree, it's the painting uh, and the, uh, the writing, almost the automatic writing thing that really mm -hmm. helps with the manifestation and helps me also be aware of what I need to know. 100%, right. 100%. We always have to keep manifesting and um, looking forward mm -hmm. to what's coming up. For any right. of us to say, okay, we're done learning. And in any profession, not just metaphysics or creative side, you're done. Mm -hmm. We have to keep doing that. And, you know, it's the same thing, you know, with people that enjoy food. Uh, one of my husband and I, one of our favorite things to do is to go to restaurants. We joke that we're foodies. And one of the things that I, that we enjoy doing together is cooking together. Right. And so, you know, it back to that spiritual side, you know, being creative in the kitchen, you're feeding your body, you're feeding your soul. Um, and it goes back to the gardening that you were mentioning. I think mm -hmm. that, you know, for viewers that might be interested in different ways of being creative, it's not just, I'm painting a picture, you know, it could be as simple as cooking a meal for your family. It could be as simple as, you know, rearranging your furniture, you know, oh, then you yeah. get into feng shui. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I find it interesting that there's so many different variations of individuals that mm -hmm. are psychically inclined like yourself, who also have the artistic side. And I think that, um, well, I guess I'll ask you the question. I think you kind of hope, I don't want to keep rambling. <laughs> I'm asking you to be my guest. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, would you say that with the the individuals that are more creative, that that makes them more open? Oh, absolutely. And something you touched on too, even something as simple as a walk. Now, a mm -hmm. lot of my peers are walkers or joggers. That really opens them up for those few minutes, like the meditation. But mm -hmm. again, you mentioned cooking. That's another thing. I didn't think of that. Yeah. I, I cook uh, just because of my schedule. My wife and I are on opposite schedules. But the cooking, again, is one way to what do you need to know? What triggers me? Mm -hmm. A lot of times are smells and scents. Okay. When you're outside or even in the kitchen, excellent point. It mm -hmm. triggers memories for, for me, it's messages from my family who had passed on. Things okay. like that. Uh, yeah. Many people use music. I can use music, but music uh, without words. Okay. If there's words in the music, it kind of uh, 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 gives me a lot of static. Gotcha. But yeah, no, it's great. It's great. You're absolutely right. Anything you can do creative that you mm -hmm. enjoy, if it's right. forced, it's mm -hmm. not going to work. Exactly. Yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. So um, do you have any uh, last messages? I said this would be a very short little. <laughs> right. So uh -huh. do you have any last uh, suggestions with the creative um, artists, individuals, mm -hmm. and those that might be developing? Um, Good point. Mm -hmm. uh, intention. Absolutely. The intention and to do something you enjoy. If it is like a career, if mm -hmm. it is a day-to-day -day drudge or something you're forcing, it won't work. Right. Many people look at coloring books. They're mm -hmm. therapy. Now, right. I'm not, I don't do that, but a lot of my peers and I know many people who do, even doodling with crayons or whatever, draw, dabble in spirit art. You may be the world's worst drawer. Mm -hmm. It can help you open up your gift right. and receive messages. For me, writing things like that, the uh, outdoors really helps open up the creative side of things. And I agree. I know you yourself are on the artistic side. And I yep. know that helps you. Uh, Definitely. My wife does her stained glass. That helps her uh, mm -hmm. open up. So absolutely. But you have to enjoy it. Yes, I agree. It won't work. Right. It won't work. Mm -hmm. And I always joke that when I'm writing, if I'm, if I have a story that I really need to put out, I joke that it's like an exorcism. Once mm -hmm. it's out, it's like, oh, okay, it's out. Um, but you know, and I think that that is an excellent point that you made, you know, being open, um, setting your intentions for sure is a, mm -hmm. is a wonderful, excellent and, point. And, yeah. And wanting to do it. Remember, right. the intention is there. Uh, and you bring up a real good point. The mm -hmm. intention is there. 
to receive messages such as what do I need to know? Right. But if you're afraid, it's going to get blocked. Like and you're asking someone from, who, from the other side, uh, help give me a message. But if you're afraid to hear from them, it may not work. And I think that's another point, you know, with the creative side of it, it'll help you relax into mm -hmm. that. You know, someone mm -hmm. is, I see, you know, I'm sure you've seen this with uh, teenagers, you know, that might be dabbling in different things and not understanding yeah. their gifts, you know, the younger Correct. individuals. Um, what, like what I've noticed is I think that maybe if someone does notice their child might be gifted, you know, maybe get them into some art classes. And that's why I still think it's very important to have those as a part of an education system, because I do think that when someone's troubled or upset, mm -hmm. again, it really helps with the meditation, the relaxation. So, well, it does, uh, and you bring up a good point with children too, excellent point. Mm -hmm. I started seeing things at four, and right. I was encouraged at home, and parents, and again, depending on their parenting style, encourage that child to mm -hmm. talk to them about it. However, one thing, and I tell this to my parents who have children who are gifted, encourage them to keep it at home. Let's face it, kids can be bullies out there. Oh yeah, and that definitely. will stunt or really suppress that child's ability or gift. But talk about it at home, creative drawing. Uh, the cooking is an excellent example as well. Yeah. Uh, meditation, again, to mm -hmm. me, that's a creative side. What do I need to know? Right. And it helps. They can only be five or 10 minutes. You don't need anything formal, you know, the half hour, Right. Uh, it, 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 that may hinder things. You know, I've noticed it with people that enjoy sports. Um, that's another form of, you know, physical yeah. creativity, yeah. Um, you know, athletics even. Yeah. And you see kids that really enjoy, you know, sports or something right. that is going to get you um, into that state of being of accepting yourself a little bit more mm -hmm. physically, um, you know, when you exercise, your mental health is better. Um, you know, people that are, that tend to be depressed, uh, I think mm -hmm. that meditation, art, um, any type of physical activity is always very helpful. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And you just touched on another thing, meditation. People think it has to be music. Not right. really. Uh -huh. It can be either by yourself when it's quiet or mm -hmm. with, with a soundscape such as the ocean. Right. Many people that you and I both know get mm -hmm. uh, uh, rejuvenated by the water. Well, right. we can't really always go and, you know, this time of year it's going to start to freeze. What's wrong <laughs> with a soundscape of the ocean? To exactly. me, that repetition really zones me in, really right. zones me in. So and you're definitely onto something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess in closing, do you have any last uh, suggestions or thoughts? Um, well, uh, first of all, I want to. The to let your gifts open and mm -hmm. you know i'm one of these you don't need the formal process just a right. desire to open up what do i need to know mm -hmm. uh, it can be from anybody if you have the connection with someone who has passed on ask them to come through to give you a sign but do not stipulate like move xyz photo it won't work Right. <laughs> or even, you know, if you're in the art, you know, um, give me a, an idea or some sort of guidance as to, you know, what I'm doing with this project. And mm -hmm. um, I've done that before, you know, just with writing, it's like, okay, what do I want to do with this? You know, I'm at a, a stagnant point. And yeah. another thing is a you know, with meditation or art, I think um, also just to kind of let people know is when you are feeling a little stagnant, it's perfectly fine to just do nothing. <laughs> yeah, to take a break. And, you yeah. know, and that's an excellent point, Kelly, to take a break, because when you're stagnant, that may be the universe's way of telling you to right. take a break. Yes. But uh, the intention and the desire are foremost and to lose the fear. Um, but yeah, if you're stagnant, step back. It may be for a half hour. It may be for a day or two. It's each individual case is very different. Awesome. Well, Greg, I want to thank you for being a part of our, my little new podcast today, hoping everything, fingers crossed, everything recorded yes. correctly. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you very much. It has been a great pleasure having you visit with me this morning, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. And you too, Kelly. It's always thank great. You. And uh, I look forward to speaking with you again. Yes. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you.